Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to this uh, wonderful mini series of post TEDx Telford interviews. And uh, this time, I'm delighted to be joined with uh, Paul McGillivray. Uh, hi, Paul. Good to see you. Hey, Jackie. Hi. Hi. And um, he's going to be sharing. He was also one of the uh, speakers at TEDx Telford, and uh, he's going to be sharing a little bit about himself, his journey, and of course, as is customary, uh, where you can find him and connect with his great cause. So, um, Paul, perhaps you'd like to begin with just giving the viewers really a roundup of who you are and what you do. Cool. So, I, I guess the, the biggest who I am is that I, along with my wife, run a company called Remote. Um, we build software, uh, custom software for purpose-driven businesses. So we basically help businesses to make a bigger impact using technology. Um, so we used to do that for all sorts of types of businesses, but as, um, as I'm sure we'll get into, I, I began to find a real sense of purpose and meaning in my own life. We felt that the kind of businesses we wanted to help were the businesses that were making a real difference in the world. Um, and so, yeah, we help purpose-driven uh, businesses to make a real impact. I just love that. And um, I'm very passionate about your, your message. And uh, of course, all the viewers will have the, um, the privilege of watching uh, your video when it is fully produced, which hopefully will be with us in the next few weeks. But uh, in the meantime, without kind of maybe giving too much away of the talk, Paul, maybe you want to uh, just kind of give people a bit of an overview of, uh, of kind of what inspired you to take your place on the TEDx stage. Mm, yeah, it, it kind of, I think it's taken me by surprise, um, <laughs> finding myself on that stage. But um, really, as I suppose it's a little bit meta in that my talk is really about how I ended up giving the talk in a way, uh, because mm -hmm. I found, because it's really about my journey. Um, and it's really about how I lost a connection with myself and my sense of purpose and meaning in my own life and how I rediscovered that and brought it into my business and how I then realized that this, this could and should happen globally. Um, so to answer your question more directly, mm. I think the reason that I applied is because I've stumbled upon a message that I desperately want to share. Um, I see that there are, huge problems in the world um, that we can't leave to governments to solve any longer. We tried that, it hasn't worked. And so it's up to us. We can't let this be a partition, parti uh, non-participatory sport anymore. You know, We have to actually get stuck in and see what we can do to make a difference in the world to solve these problems. And I do believe these problems are solvable. Um, even the big problems like poverty and disease and starvation and inequality. Um, they're things that we, we care deeply about, and we all do. But I think that until recently, we've almost been trained to watch these problems unfold passively on the news with a feeling that, well, someone needs to sort this out. But, the fee but that someone is us, right? And we can't leave it to someone else to do it. And so that's the realization that's, that's dawned on me over the last few years. And which is why, as I said at the start, um, our business is focused in this way. And we really want to help people to find out how they can take their place in the world to make that, that difference. And when I realized that that was a message that really needed to be shared, um, I hit send on that application. <laughs> it sure was. What a great um, idea worth spreading, I guess, you know, in the spirit of TED and TEDx. Mm. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think what I really loved about your story, Paul, is, is absolutely what you've touched on. It was your journey and it was how actually quite a difficult time for you um, uh, allowed I suppose this kind of mini revelation for you, which you've really acted on, and and, and I, you know, admire you wholeheartedly for that. Um, yeah, well, really, I do. And uh, so, I mean, so many people I've spoken to that you know, fellow speakers from the day have just commented about how wonderful the day was itself. And I, I'm curious, what was the best thing for you other than your um, moment in the spotlight as it were but what was the best thing for you about the TEDx Telford event 
there were so many things. It was, it was really a truly fantastic day. Um, um, where do I start? I loved, okay, several things, so I can't give you one answer. That's all so, right, okay. I loved the fact that all of us who were speaking were, there was a thread that ran through everyone's message, it, however diverse, from social media to um, inequality through to technology. And there was, there was this thread about really stepping up and our power of in, as individuals to, to make a difference. And I was deeply moved by the fact that I saw this happen over and over again. Um, and as a result, the people in the audience really found the day inspirational. We all did, right? Right. Um, you know, you're, it was lovely that we we rounded off, almost rounded off Hannah was after you, but rounded rounded off today with your mm -hmm. talk, and I think we were, we were all particularly moved by your talk, and I think um, I've I've pondered on it as we all all have what what it was that really moved us, and I think what what it was from as far as I see it is that you showed us very cleverly. Um, how we've been trained to think in particular ways, purely environment dictates performance, as we say in business. Right. Um, and how it was almost the way that people are, you know, many of us have had uh, difficulty at school with bullying and that kind of thing. You know, kids can be mean and, you know, I've certainly had my share of that. And it really showed me that those kids really, um, they didn't have a choice. They didn't know they were doing it. It was what they were trained to do as normal. And it was really powerful because um, I think many of us have had an ex our version of that experience. And so it touched us deeply. And that, um, I don't want to give too many spoilers away of your talk, <laughs> but the way that you, you encouraged us to just take that step forward. It was a, it was a rouse, rousing and inspirational call to, to be part of a movement of making a difference. And I felt that there was, I certainly touched on that aspect in my talk and many others did too. And I felt it's, it rounded off the day so beautifully that we can all step up and make a difference. It, it's, not, it's not time to just step back and let these things happen anymore. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful, yeah. Um, there was I another thing I was gonna say as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, feel feel free to step in if it if it comes back to conscious mind what you want to yeah. say. But yeah, I think everybody had um, a really uh, I think inspiring is the word that keeps coming back again and again and again. And uh, and I think that our thanks in many ways go to not only Sam and the team for uh, absolutely flawless production, but also uh, the the audience participation with whom you know it would have been a very different event, wouldn't it? The energy was so open, so up for it, so with us, you know. Um, I, I suspect you feel the same. I didn't feel that it was me standing on a stage giving a presentation or performance. I felt like it was it was us, you know. It was all of us in that room. And that actually reminds me of what I was going to say before. Right. Um, there's, um, there's a passage in a book. I don't know if you've um, seen James Comey's book, um, so the, the ex-director of the FBI, this is random, but there is a point to it. No, now, I haven't seen it. it um, I, I haven't read the book myself except for one chapter um, because Jeannie, my wife, was reading the book and she was like, you've just got to read this. And the chapter basically is at the point, it's his, it's, it's his, it's his life as he moves through up the hierarchy of government. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, he finds himself as a uh, representative of a massive organization in the Oval Office with the president, with the Home Secretary, you know, Condoleezza Rice is there, all the big players. Basically, here I am, I find myself at the top of the pyramid. Right. The thing that really moved me in that passage was, and then I realized it's just us. It's just a group of ordinary people who have right. found themselves in extraordinary circumstances. And it's just us. Yeah. And that both inspired and terrified me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Now, I'm paraphrasing a couple of pages, but that yeah. sentiment, as we got together, you know, in our rehearsals and, and, and our talks, you know, um, I, you know, I've seen, I've watched so many TED talks and been blown away by these incredible people just stepping up and it's like, wow, what's it take to be a person like that? 
and us sitting here before the, the rehearsal, I was like, it's just us, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah, it really was. And, and that extends to everyone in the audience and everyone watching this video and everyone that watches the videos. It is, it's all of us. Yeah. And it's not left to someone else to, to make that difference in the world now. It's up to all of us. And it is just us. But each, each of us can find ourselves as ordinary people in extraordinary times and circumstances. So let's all step up. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah. I have to have a look at it myself. You'll have to let me ping me the link to it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I'm not sure I've done it justice, but you get the essence. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So going back to your talk, um, and again, without spoilers, but um, if you could ask people or hope that people would take even just one message, um, you've sort of perhaps touched on it a little bit, Paul, but what would the ideal message and takeaway for people watching be for you? Mm. Yeah, I think it's generally the, my, my theme of things I've talked about. So yeah, it's, it's I suppose to summarise everything I've said is is that you know, in an ideal world, if someone was to, to hear the talk and think, okay, so what am I doing now in the world? What, am, what is my career? How am I interacting with people? And what are my, what are my strengths? What are those things that, that light me up? What are those things that I'm brilliant at? Because no matter how hard we are on ourselves, if we look deep, we have, we have that. We all have natural abilities and talents and passions. Um, and how can I put that to use for a greater good. How can I make a difference in the world? Because we all can, I 100% believe that we all can make a difference. And so if someone was to, to hear what I have to say and, and have that idea, that thought, or that beginning of a journey be sparked, then, you know, job done. Even if one person, even if that only happens to one person, then job done. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And so that, that loops beautifully around, actually, to, you know, when, when people see your video, because, um, you know, I know that they will. And, and I, when they are inspired by it, as I know that they will be, they, um, they will probably want to contact you or get in touch with you, find out more about you and your business. So how can they reach you, Paul? Okay, so um, being, being an internet guy, I'm all over the web. So you can find me on Twitter, at Paul McGillivray. Um, uh, LinkedIn, if that's your thing. I don't hang out there too much. Um, I'm on Facebook. Just look for my name, um, connect, um, paulmcgillivray.com. And my company, uh, the address is remote.online. So we're starting a whole load of projects. It's you know, a really exciting time for us, and the talk couldn't have happened at a better time. Um, we're, we're putting together online courses, we're putting together accelerators, um, we're putting together all sorts of programs that will help people find their purpose and put their good to the world, put their talents to the good of the world. Um, we're helping people, we're helping purpose-driven businesses build their infrastructure so that they can scale up to make a massive difference. Um, there's lots of talk at the moment about artificial intelligence, um, where the idea of, uh, okay, well, my business can impact a thousand people with six people, six members of staff, but artificial intelligence, I can do that with half the staff and still affect a thousand people. My message is, okay, let's keep the six staff and affect 2000 people using artificial intelligence. You know, let's yeah. not half the staff, let's double the impact is what I'm saying. Yeah. We're, we're really working with businesses to, to do that, to really make an impact. So yeah, remote.online, that's where you find us or paulmcgilvery.com. I'd love to speak to anyone who's been inspired to find their purpose and put it to the good of the whole world. And um, it's a movement that needs to happen, is happening. It's a movement that we all need to take part in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, wonderful. Inspirational words as ever, Paul, from you. And, uh, and, and I cannot uh, stress enough uh, that, that people should watch your video when it is out. Um, it's uh, an inspiring journey. Uh, it's revelationary. And, uh, and I think I summarize it as well to say that, you know, if you think, I think, was it the Dalai Lama that said, if you think you're too small to make an impact, try and be a mosquito in a room or something. And, uh, <laughs> And, and I just think that, <laughs> I don't know who said it, I think it was him, but probably gets credited to lots of people. But uh, I, I really um, perhaps apt 
quote to kind of summarize this uh, this little chat and it's been a real pleasure Paul uh, talking with you again today and, and I'm really certain that the universe will conspire to bring us back together in our circles I'm sure they will um, but for yeah. now he's he, poor Paul is has been suffering a little bit of a cold as well after the event so uh, get well soon you you've done thank it you. you've got through so uh, thank, thank you, you. <laughs> take good care and we'll speak again soon thanks Jackie thank take you. care bye-bye